Hey, what's going on guys? Your boy Diggs. Um, found out something pretty cool, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I didn't make it. I didn't make the app. I didn't do anything. I'll post the, the, um, the link where I found it at. It wasn't this one, but I'll post it up. Uh, basically, what we got here is PlayStation uh, PS4 Remote Play is now available on any Android device. So I've been waiting for this for a while. I wanted to get the... Uh, the Sony Xperia for that reason, but Sprint didn't carry it, so with the no edge. But yeah, you got remote play on it now, so let me see. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I'm going to post the link here. This is the download file. I already have it downloaded, but once you have it downloaded, just connect your phone to your PC. Oh, you'll hear it. Um, if, it's a first, it's, if it's your first time connecting it to your PC, it's going to install the drivers. It might take a second. You'll see a little box uh, pop up, but you'll be all set. And then you see mine's right here. Go to the phone. So once you download the file, which I have, it's on my desktop, you're going to copy the file, which is right here. It's called Remote Play uh, Port Version 0 0.6.1. APK. So you're just going to go ahead and copy it from wherever you downloaded it um, and just paste it right here onto your phone. And you see right there, I already have it in, uh, pasted there, but I'll do it again just to show you. Paste, uh, copy and replace. All right, so it's bam, it's right there. So once you're done with that, just go ahead and unplug your phone. All right, and you're just going to go right here. Um, if you don't have one already with your phone, you're going to want to look up a uh, file explorer inside of uh, the Play Store. But most phones come with it now, so you just go to My Files. You go to Device Storage. Hold on. Right there, Device Storage. And you just go down to your main screen, and you'll see it right there. Remote Play Port APK. Click on it. I don't have it installed on this one, but I'm going to show you right now. And you just hit install. App installed. Now I'm going to hit open. All right, so there is a way to connect it to your PS4 controller. Um, every way that I've seen online so far, though, has not been working for the Note Edge. Um, I'm going to try to find one specific, uh, specifically for the Note Edge, but um, there is a way to do it. Unfortunately, I can't show you. So you want to click register, nothing happens, so... There we go. So I'll hit next. Now, I already have the PlayStation app installed here. So I'm already logged in the PlayStation. If it's your first time logging in, you just log in with your PlayStation account. But you see it goes to the website, but I already have my password and everything saved. So it's just automatically going to log in. You see it connecting. My PlayStation is off at the moment, I think. I don't know if it needs to be on, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Looks like it's connected. All right, so I am connected and operating the analog stick. All right, so what I thought was cool, so you can use the screen as, as a um, remote control. When you touch it, you'll see right here you have the directional pads. You have L2, L1 right there, R1, R2, um, triangle, circle, X, square. Now, the cool thing is that you don't see anything in the middle, but if you touch right here, the touch pad pops up. And if you touch down here, the analog sticks pop up. And that's how you navigate and everything. And you see it's really responsive. I am on the same Wi-Fi. I haven't tried this over uh, long distance internet or anything like that, but I am on the same network with it and it's working instant. You have really good haptic feedback right here. Works really, really well. All right, and then if you slide this button right here, you'll get your PS button, you get your share button, you get the options button. So. You know, options, if I hit share, I don't know if share does anything from here. Yeah, open up, share everything. So, yeah, really good app. Um, I'll post the original poster where I found this, but I just wanted to show you guys how it worked, and it does work. All right, any other questions, uh, let me know. I'm going to try to figure out how to do the controller. Once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. All right, talk to you later. Bye.